What is going on, you lunatics? Guys, give me one moment here because we need to talk about something. You just saw Luna Classic start the breakout and you gotta be asking yourself, what is going on? Let's look at the charts. We're gonna go over this. I'm gonna give you kind of an idea here. Now, if you remember, and if you follow me for any length of time, you know that I just gave you this call and I told you exactly what was going to happen. Now, what happens next is gonna be the interesting play here. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit that like button on the way in. Helps me out tremendously. Okay, so here's where we are right now on the chart. This is what matters. What I told you guys before, and what I've told you for about a couple of days now is that the most likely play out here is a bounce from here back up to the top of this range. And what happened? Not only did we get that, but the 20 MA and the 50 MA in the meantime are down below this range. So we've broken above this range. Again, this is a daily candle. This is not an hourly candle. We have continued to surge on hourly. Now, what does that mean? So uh, we're bouncing off of it, and as you can see at this spot right here, we've got a little bit of rejection. I'm gonna switch over to the one hour now to show you what that looks like. All right, so for a little more clarity, you can see what's happening on the hourly right now. You see we've broken above this line, okay? And we're coming back now, and we've gotta come up a little bit more and then do a, a successful back test, and then that will lead to a breakout. I'm gonna switch back to the one day chart uh, to show you a little bit more. Okay, so now we're above, and what I showed you a couple days ago, uh, and again yesterday, was that what we need is that back test. So what you'll see is that move right here that we're talking about over here on the right, and then another kind of back test, and then we should have that breakout move. Now, uh, when I gave this to you over here, we were doing this just so I could show you what it looks like, right? Well, it's playing out exactly as we predict, and it's going a little bit faster than what I predicted right here. And the question is, could it be, and what's the reason? What is What exactly is going on? Well, uh, there is something that did happen. So the news was LUNK and USTC staking yield rates are increasing. You can stay both coins on Binance Global. There is no lock-in situation. It's flexible staking. There's only lunk staking on Binance TR right now. That's the Turkish one. And the APR has increased on it. Binance TR exchange is very advantageous in every way. So what we now see is that it's worth it for Binance customers to buy and start to hodl and start to stake Luna Classic. So this is a big move right here for this ecosystem. So let's go back to the price. So now I would suspect that we'll see a little bit of a rejection here coming back down and testing this 20 or 50 as we see it right now. Uh, it'll take a little bit of time, might even take a day or two, but I would suspect that we'll see something coming down along these lines here. Then we'll have that breakout, then we'll have that back test on the range, and then that's when we have that real breakout. Now, where does the real breakout go? Well, right here, you can see this 200 line is crossing over right here. So depending on the amount of time, I, I would suspect that we're gonna have a test of the 200 MA coming up very, very soon. So. Uh, what should you do in the meantime? Remember your pairing. Terraport.finance, there's a bunch of different meme tokens that are over there. You should probably go buy yourself a couple of bags of some of those meme tokens at Terraport.finance. And uh, if you are if your bag is pumping and you're feeling really good about it and you want to do a little bit of risk-based gaming, go to Terra Casino. Try Terra Casino out and try to win some more Luna Classic. Try to win yourself some more crypto uh, as you are playing the game. Um, uh, so let's move back into it. Um, that's it for right now. USTC also pumping. I want to show you that on the chart right here. Uh, USTC pumping, doing the same thing. And we see the same pattern, by the way, repeating itself because at this point they are moving in lockstep. And that is that we're getting this crossover right here on, it's a bearish crossover, right? We're going to get a bullish, rem we're going to get a bullish reversal in my opinion right here because it's 20 when it's going above that's the bullish sign when it's going below that's the bearish sign and remember these are lagging indicators so it's not we're not we're, not, we're using this to show what's happening and what has happened not what's going to happen but it will reverse back because it seems like we've got momentum on our side for the last couple of days so i suspect we're going to see a big move and this comes into play again so right now that's trending around 2.2 cents so if you have a bag of USTC, probably gonna feel good in the next couple of days. Also, don't forget, tax to gas is being implemented. Uh, we're also having the discussion about raising the burn tax to 1.5%. And let's look at volume. Look at this volume that's happening right now. 284% increase in volume, 52 million in trade volume going on right now, right now. 52 million in trade volume. Now, imagine a 1.5% burn on something like that and imagine all of that trade volume 
uh, is being burned at 1.5%. What do you think is going to happen to the circulating supply? What do you think happens when when this really starts to play out? And let's not just not just this, but now tax to gas means that we can build on this blockchain without manual uh, without manual calculation. We're simplifying the process. They are simplifying the process, and it's going to get easier and easier for you to be a developer and builder on this chain, which is going to make it easier for you to be an investor on this chain. The only variable now appears to be time. Now back to the one hour, this is what we're looking for. This is the type of stuff that will lead to that absolute breakout. I, uh, I want to know what you think in the comments down below. I've taken up a lot of your time. I don't want to take up any more of your time today. You guys enjoy your weekend. Uh, it looks like Luna Classic is having a nice little recovery. I do hope that it gets sustained. I do hope that it gets continued. On Monday, we'll talk about the volume nodes and where I project it's going to go from here. But if you invested, and I'm not a financial advisor but if you invested because i told you that it was getting ready to pump and you just got a nice big pump i would encourage you to take your profit be responsible don't wreck the charts don't do anything uh but re and remember i do think that there's a continued surge getting ready to happen and that we're going to see about another in my estimation 50 percent increase coming within the next couple of days at least that's what it looks like to me on the chart that doesn't mean that it will happen just means that, that, there, that I, I think there's a correction here that we're looking for and there's a, a trend line here for volume and that volume is about 50 percent higher than where we are right now and generally speaking money is attracted into those nodes and into those regions so your next next you're going to see four zeros 91 if we continue to surge and then you're going to see three zeros 10 10 three and then you're going to see the big move which is where we go into three zeros 12 which is 50 percent from where we are right that's what i think is going to happen let me know what you think in the comments below Cryptonomy.finance is giving away $100,000 in Ethereum and $100,000 in Solana. Go to this X post and engage with it in order to get registered. Uh, you have to follow their Telegram, follow Cryptonomy on X, make a fixed staking deposit of at least six months. There's no amount given, but the winners could range from $100 to $10,000. So check it out today. Also, we now have a dark mode on Cryptonomy, so if you haven't, make sure you go check that out. Now, I told you guys before, I'm a big-time fan of API3. I think it's going to be one of the bangers. We're going to do this one for six months. And we're also going to make a deposit on Ondo. And again, we're going to do it for six months. That's a 32.46% yield. And now we're staked with more API, more Ondo. Guys, I can't stress enough, the market... Get ready because there's something big getting ready to happen. Make sure that you're staking with Cryptonomy.finance today.